Okay guys, just just going to be a short little uh, sight and end video. I just got my Ruger, or uh, sorry. What the hell is this? Norinko. Got my Norinko JW14 in the mail last night. Uh, I tried to get one of these new. By the time I had made up my mind that I actually wanted one, of course, they're discontinued. I did find one in a gun shop in Saskatoon at North Coast Sports. And they said, or their website said they had one, so I placed the order. And they called me a couple hours later and said that they had sold their last one just prior to me placing the order. So, that didn't work out very well. Um, they also told me that Norinko was no longer making them. I guess they, when they seen I had placed the order and they didn't have any, they called them. And uh, they asked if I wanted to get something else, and I decided not to. Uh, I looked online before for used ones and never found any, but I kept looking, and sure enough, one popped up. So at North Pro Sports, it was going to cost me $179 plus tax and shipping, it was $231. Uh, this one I got for 135 plus shipping, it's another $35, so 170 I guess that's it, 100 and, uh, <clears throat> $170, that's a pretty good deal, I guess. Um, <clears throat> came in the box, it's in like new condition, I don't see anything on it that's out of the ordinary, other than my front sight is drifted pretty far over to the left. And he said he had tightened it in, and he put a box of ammo through it, and decided he liked bolt action better. So I got three different types of ammo here. I got Winchester, Super X, uh, what is it? Super Speed HP. Uh, I got Winchester Match, which is what I'm doing now, which I know is nowhere near Match, and CCI Blazer. And I just opened this box before I left for the range, and anyone who had any doubts about um, CCI and Federal not being in bed together, this box has got four rounds of Federal in it. Now, they look identical, the tips are the same, but... I don't know how well that's going to come out, but... Federal head stamp. Anyway, it doesn't really bother me. But. So we'll run a few rounds. I think I got 10 in there. And we'll see how it groups. Okay. New glasses are horrible for shooting. Okay, I guess that's it. Let's go look at the target. Um, see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have to count them. I don't think I got ten in the mag. I think there's only nine in that mag. So that's not bad. That's, uh, that'd be an inch and a half, an inch and a half. It was pretty fast shooting. And these glasses, the way I look through the sights, that black rim is right in the friggin' way. So. Next time I come to the range, I have to bring my regular glasses. So let's, uh, so that was a Winchester target crap. Alright, so I'll try this blazer slash federal. So, seeing how there's four federal marked cases. 
just going to load eight rounds in his mag. So there's four fed in the bottom, so it'll be the second half. Okay, I'll take aim at the opposite corner of this one. Let's see. Okay, we'll go take a look at that group. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a little smaller than the other one, which I kind of expected. I haven't really heard any good things about the Winchester T22, I believe it is. So that was the uh, <coughs> DCI, nice little group there, one little flyer, I'm sure. Was... So I guess we'll try, well, we only got one left, we'll try the Winchester Super Speed, and we'll see how that does. Now, this one's certainly in a more expensive box, if nothing else, so I expect a little better accuracy out of it than I do under the T22. This is copper plated as well. One, two, three. I mentioned I hate load magazines. Six. Seven. Maybe I should have an M60 instead. That has a tubular magazine if you're wondering. Well, I get ten rounds in there, but that is fucking tight. Okay. Top right this time. I'm looking up here a little bit, I can actually see it in my glasses. A lot harder to see the target though. I think what I might actually do is aim. Patches. I can see the patches pretty good. Oh, maybe I'll head. Anyway. Well, I couldn't see that patch quite as good as I thought I did. Let's go see how close I came to hitting the damn thing. Okay, so point of aim was here, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's right around 2 by about 1.5. This is all at 25 yards, by the way. 
Um, excuse me. I was planning on aiming here, but with the barrel and the sight posts, it kind of obstructs the upper corners. So um, I'm gonna do another one with. Uh, I'll do some three-round groups. I don't know. I'll probably try and put one here. I want to try this stuff again. I I was going pretty fast and I really couldn't see that that well. So I'm going to try maybe a five round group right here and see how it does. Okay, let's load up five more of these pages. If we get any daylight left, I will... Uh, a little show and tell on the rifle. Uh, when I was researching these, uh, really not that much on YouTube about them. I'm trying to remember the username of the guy. There's a guy that does a lot of uh, reviews. I think he's, I don't know, there's something Canadian in his name. Uh, I'll add it in the subtitles later. Uh, 314299 does one on it, uh, as well as a few other people. But, uh, he doesn't really talk that much about it, it just shows him shooting it. And hardly anybody shows the left side of the thing, so we'll do that as well. First we'll get these five rounds on. No, I still can't see that damn thing. I'm just going to aim towards the bottom left corner of the target. either. It's starting to get dark out. Uh, bottom right, I can kind of see a lot better. Okay. We'll take a look at that group, then we'll take a look over the rifle. Um, one thing I can say though, so I'm quite pleased that it's psycho and all that. It is a fairly stiff bolt, and I don't know if that rifle's ever been cleaned of all the cosmoline or not. Okay, there's the five shot group. One flyer. Um, I gotta get out here with some decent targets, but thus far, that group right there, which was the uh, blazer stuff, certainly the best, and I'm not surprised at all about that. Um, I like blazer, I've always had good luck with blazer. I've never really bought federal. Uh, I don't know why, I just haven't. I've uh, always bought Winchester or CCI, and I just find that. Especially over the last 10 years, the Winchester stuff has really gone in the shithole. Uh, it seems like they're just lowering and lowering their standards to keep up with price and all that. To make it competitive, but I'd sooner pay a little more and buy, I guess not a local product. I mean, it's made in the States and I'm Canadian, but uh, I'd sooner pay a little more and buy something out of North America than buy something out of another country. I've tried that as well. I've tried the uh, wolf stuff and I believe it was a lake field and it wouldn't cycle it at all. I'm just going to set this over in the box. 